Hi everyone, my name's Andrea and I'm a solutions consultant at Hootsuite and we're gonna cover how to use Hootsuite today. And by the end of this video, the goal is to have your Hootsuite account looking like mine. So set up with different streams, having all of your accounts connected, whether that's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and also creating some content so you've got it all scheduled. So this is what it's gonna look like in the end, but let's go back to the very beginning and go through step by step and how I got here. So how I like to set things up is organizing things by channel. So I'm gonna create my first tab here um, with Twitter. From there, I can add in all the different things I wanna monitor. So home, screen, mentions, even a search stream. And what this will let me do is monitor key hashtags or topics that I might wanna be paying attention to. So if I wanted to see what people were saying about, let's say, hashtag hotels, I can add that in and search for it. And it will show me every time this is mentioned across Twitter. This screen here is letting me see basically my home page, like my news feed, so I can see everything that I might want to interact with. And my mentions stream is letting me see every time someone's mentioned me and is having a conversation, so I can immediately respond to those. So now that I have my Twitter tab all set up, I also wanna create one for Facebook. But before I can pull in any of my Facebook information, I need to connect my page. So as you wanna connect additional pages, you can simply do that by clicking on the icon on the top right corner, clicking on Manage Social Networks, and this is where you can add in additional networks. So I'm gonna add in my Facebook now. There we go. Perfect, so I can see the pages I have connected right here. Now I've got my Facebook good to go. So to get back to our main dashboard, we'll simply click on the streams button. And to create that Facebook stream that I wanna add in, I can do the same thing I did last time. So I'll simply change the name to Facebook or anything else I'd like. And then to add in additional streams, I can click on get started, browse all streams. From here, I'll change the network to Facebook and you'll notice that all of my options of the different methods of monitoring change as well. So if I wanted to add in my timeline, my specific posts, at mentions, or even unpublished pages, so if you're running any paid ads, you can keep track of the comments coming in there, you can add those in too. So now that I've got this all set up, I can easily with two clicks go back and forth between my profiles and get an idea of everything that's going on on my channels. Seeing my timeline, all of the posts I've sent out and monitoring the activity on those, as well as the mentions that have come in and where I've been tagged. Now that I've got my Hootsuite account set up and it's starting to look like it's ready to go, what I'd also love to cover today is how to create a message really easily. And the first thing to double check before we start creating a message is just your account and settings to make sure everything's set up right. This is where you can add an image so that your profile has a photo, as well as being able to check your time zone. So make sure this is the right time zone for where you're working so that when we do schedule messages in just a second, it'll go out in the right time zone. I'm in Vancouver, so everything looks good. And the last thing to change is if you do wanna work in another language, know that you can change this here. So if I wanna be working in French, I can simply switch it and it will be ready to go. I'm gonna keep mine in English, save my preferences, and now let's create a message together. So now that I've got all my searching and monitoring set up, let's create a post and schedule out some content for the upcoming week. All you have to do to get going is click on New Post up on the top right-hand corner. As soon as you've selected that, the Composer will immediately pop up, and from there you can choose which networks you want to schedule to. I'm going to create a post just picturing that we want to send it to both Twitter and Facebook simultaneously. So now that I've selected the channels I want it to go to, I can add in my text as well as the link that I want to direct my audience to. Right away, you'll see that because I've added in the link, I get an immediate preview of how this would look. But if you do want to include your own photo or grab one from our stock image library, you can do that right here. I'm gonna grab one from our stock image library.
If I wanted to upload my own photo, all you do is delete the photo you currently have and there'd be a button that would say upload from your computer. So right away, you'll see that I can preview what this post is going to look like on each channel before it goes out. So this just makes sure you don't feel, you don't feel like you're scheduling blind, but can see exactly how it's going to look on each channel that, when it goes out. I can also see if the cropping's different on each platform, Hootsuite will notify me to let me know what's changed. One thing I notice as I'm looking at this post is that my link looks pretty clunky and long. And so Hootsuite does have an automatic sh link shortener built right in. So all you have to do to shorten links is simply click shorten with Ali. From there, we'll see that the link automatically condenses and looks so much cleaner to our audience and also uses less characters, um, specifically if you're creating content for Twitter. So right now I'm pretty happy with how this post looks and I'm ready to schedule it out. So to schedule, all I need to do is click on schedule for later. I'll have the option to pick the, the day and time that it goes out. And so let's say I wanna schedule for next Tuesday at 4 p.m. I can select that, click done, and it will be ready to go. So I'll be scheduling both of these posts for that time. If I wanted to see just at a glance what I have scheduled, I can just add in a scheduled column and immediately I'll see that post. Hey, it's scheduled and looks great. And if I wanted to see what this looks like from a calendar view, I can find that over here on the publisher screen. Clicking on planner, and if I move ahead to the week that I've scheduled to, I can see that the, all those posts that I just made. So my Twitter posts, my Facebook posts. I've also, I'm also able to see all the other posts I've scheduled on both platforms too. And this is super great if you ever need to make a quick change. Know that if you want to preview a post, you can simply click on it, preview everything about it. So the text, the link, the copy. And if you want to move things around or say, let's, let's change the time that this is going out, you can simply just drag it and drop it to the time that you do want it to. So it's really, really interactive, super easy to make changes. If you ever did want to make a quick change or edit what you've already done, simply by clicking edit here, it'll take you back to that composer screen we were just looking at. Great, so now you've got all your content scheduled for the week, you can make changes, you've got this set up. So the other thing I think would be really worthwhile digging into is some ways that we can make the monitoring more customized for what you're looking, what you're wanting to look at. So now that I've got my posts scheduled out, what I'd also love to show you is a few tips and tricks that can really help with the engagement side, the back and forth with people that are mentioning you and your audience, and also how you can cater some of these searches that we've set up to be a little bit more specific for what you're looking for. So when it comes to engagement and someone asks a question on your Twitter page, know that you can respond right here, you can retweet, quote, edit the post, as well as like. If you want to hide or delete, you can do that too. When it comes to that initial hashtag hotel search that we made earlier, there's a few ways that we can really narrow this down to get a little bit more of a specific search. So by clicking on the little magnifying glass here, it's going to give me the option to filter by follower size. So this will basically show me only posts of people or brands that have a following of let's say 2000 plus. Additionally, if I want to filter by additional search words, I can do that too. And if I added in a search, let's say for California, I just see posts that contained hashtag hotel and it also mentioned California. For Facebook, really same rules apply. If I want to respond to any of my posts, I can simply respond um, right underneath exactly like you would natively. Or if I did have comments coming in, I can respond in line too. So Good to keep that in mind. So at this point, you've basically got your Hootsuite account set up. You have some great search streams so you can see what's happening on Twitter, Facebook, have your first pieces of content scheduled. This should make your day-to-day -day a lot easier, allow you to be more proactive. The, the last thing that I, I always recommend taking a look at is the app directory. Hootsuite has a ton of different apps to choose from and a ton of them are free. So feel free to look through it and look at for free apps, or even if you wanted to look to see if there was a specific integration. Um, I use Google Drive all the time. 
you can search for them in the top right hand corner and it'll show you all of the apps that fit in with there. So Google Drive is shows up here. I can learn more about it and how it works and then install it if it makes sense. But basically, that's how I always set up my accounts. It's a great way to start and keep track of what's going on. In my next video, I'm gonna do a deeper dive into some elements like bulk scheduling, being able to edit your photos and preview messages and create reports. So I'll add a link in that'll, that'll loop you in for that if you wanna learn more about any of those areas. But hope this has been helpful. Feel free to um, comment if you've got questions, more than happy to help. And always remember that you can reach out to support directly through the dashboard um, and uh, be able to get help right away too.